RDBMS and HBase. So I work in that most of time on data related things. So what I understanding is relational database. It's uh, co co uh, normal database and HBase we can say uh, uh, relational database is kind of uh, row level data and HBase we can say the columnar database. So relational database where you uh, more focus on rows or columnar is more focuses uh, relational is kind of like uh, number of fixed rows number of fixed column where uh, H HBA said those are columnar means unlimited columnar so let's uh, talk about in details so RDBMS is relational database management system and HBA is no SQL database so it has uh, some different data model here are some of the main differences so first is a data structure we talk about data structure so RDBMS data structure into table where each table has a predefined schema that defines the structure of the data. On the other hand, HBase stores data in the column family data model, where data is stored in the column that are groups in the column family. So, in one table, it can have multiple column family. Each column family has a multiple columns. So, each column family stores data into uh, you know the map key value pair. And now the next part is so first is data structure both has a different. Third, uh, second part is coming as scalability. RDBMS has a vertically scalable. So vertically you can vertically one is horizontal scaling, another is vertical. Vertical you keep on adding uh, means you can handle large amount of data, but uh, only up to limited to hardware. So it's keep on adding hardware. In the construct, HBS is horizontal scal uh, scalable, which means it can scale handle large volume of data across multiple nodes in a distributed environment. So you can keep adding the computer, so it will increase. Not on single computer you add on hard disk the third point is uh, talking about the data access rdbms use sql structure query language to query data from the table while hbase use hbase api which is java based api access data hbase also provide the cell interface to allow user to interact with the data using simple command data consistency rdbms enforce the data consistency through acid automaticity consistency isolation durability so data consistency uh, they follow the ACID uh, theorem properties, which is ensure data is consistent and accurate. In contract, HBase provide in a eventually consistency, which means they that update to the data may take some time to propagate to all the nodes in the system. Data type RDMS supports a structured data type that can be easily defined using the free defined schema. In in case of HBase, it supports semi structured and unstructured data such as JSON XML document. Overall, RDBMS HBase has a different data model which makes the suitable for different use case. RDBMS is commonly used for the transactional system whereas uh, data consistency and SED property is important where HBase is often used for big data application where the scalability and flexibility is essential. So keep in mind this is the difference. This is very very important question. Now explain what is the HBase. So it's uh, similar to what we discussed in the previous uh, my answer so let's uh, go through the details hbase is open source uh, distributed nosql database right so it's built on top of apache hadoop it is uh, designed to store the manage uh, large volume of uh, structure semi structure and unstructured data so and also for, t for tolerance and high so it supports a scale, uh, structure unstructured semi structure HBase is based on the big data model, which means highly scalable distributed storage system developed by Google. It uses the column family based model, whereas data is stored in column that group into column family. The data index by the row keys, which allow the faster and efficient data table. So row keys the unique value in the HBase. HBase provides scalable, highly available consistency to store the large scale of data intensive application. It can also scale handle petabyte of data. It can be used for a variety of use cases including online analytical machine learning and real time processing. Some key features HBase include high scalability HBase designed for scalable horizontal which means that can handle large volume of data across the distribution network and machine. High availability HBase is designed to be highly available with built in replication and failover mechanism ensure the data is always accessible consistency hbase provide a strong consistency and guarantee for a real right operation which ensure the data is always accurate up to date flexibility hbase can handle both structure and structured data making flexible of um, wide range of data type use integration 
H base with Hadoop, uh, H base is built in top of Hadoop, which means it can integrate seamlessly with other Hadoop app components. So the third one is explain why the uh, why to use X. So as of my previous two questions, there are many reasons. First, you can say like uh, where your requirement is uh, the scalability and flexibility of the column, then you can use. Uh, so let's go the my predefined answer. Highly cap um, high capacity storage system, distributed design to cen uh, to center large table column oriented storage, horizontally scalable, high performance availability, base goal H base is millions of column, thousand of uh, version, billions of row, unlike S D B S. Okay, so when you have large set of data, then we can use. It support random real time crude operation fast access of data hbase use column family based of data model which provide fast and you know efficient across the data it support the real write operation it makes the good choice of application is required real data processing such as deletion and stock trading integration is uh, with Adobe is also okay so what is the key component of hbase uh, it is also very very important so as we talk about previous step to hbase um, component is h master region server zookeeper hdfs and hbase client so basically it's five so hbase mas h master region server zookeeper hdfs and hbase client so hbase component are several key component work together and provide a scalable di distributed scalable system for large volume of data here are some of mem component of hbase h master h master is uh, primary Node is HBase cluster reasonable for managing and distributing of region across the cluster, monitoring the health of region server and handling the administrative tasks such as schema update and load balancing. Region server, region server are a worker node in HBase cluster that are res responsible for serving data from set HBase region. Each region server manages a subset of region which are subset of HBase table and distributed across to the cluster. Zookeeper. Zookeeper is a distributed coordination service that uses HBase and manages cluster-wide configuration, co um, coordinate distributed uh, process, perform leader uh, election, and HBase rely on the Zookeeper, maintain the cluster states, coordinate uh, distributed instruction, and handle the failover. SDFS. It's a Hadoop distributed file system. is a primary storage system used for HBase uh, storing data. HBase table are stored as a Hadoop file, HDFS, HBase region server use HDFS access to manage these files. HBase client, the HBase client is a Java API provide the set of methods so interacting with HBase table. Application use HBase client read and write data into HBase table. Perform administrative tasks such as creating tables and modifying tables and schemas. Now what is Lazo? So this is also very very important question and many pe people also. Lazo and Lempi Zive over humor so i also don't know this full form but i just remember as lazo so lazo is a lossless data compression algorithm that designed for high speed data compression and decompression so the speed is very fast compression and decompression is compression because data store is compressed and then when you read it need to decompress so it was developed by marcus over homers and less call in is widely used for Hadoop ecosystem and coding HBase high Hadoop map reduce. Lazo base is a algorithm which is a dictionary based compression algorithm that know the high compress ratio and low computational complexity. Lazo provide you to um, using sliding window techniques with the compressed data in a block which allow to faster compression and decompression. Lazo is particularly well suited for use of distributed computing environment in like Hadoop where the fast uh, compression and decompression are critical processing large volume of data. It is also popular for other applications where as uh, fast compression and decompression is important such as enabling system, gaming system, mobile side device. Overall Lazo is high performance compression and algorithm as well suited for use for distribution computing environment other applications where. Yeah, so this is very very important question. So, what is wall in H, H log in HBase? So in HBase, wall is right ahead log. Okay, H log, it's also HBase log. Both refer to same things. The log that used for ensure the data is durability and consistency. When the right operation is performed, HBase data first written into wall and H log uh, before written in actual data. 
stored while wal and hlog are stored in the local file system each region server and replicate across the multiple nodes to ensure the data is not lost even the node failure the purpose of hl wall provide record all changes made in hv stable in the event of region server failure h wall and hlog can be relied to restore the data in previous state ensure the data are not lost in the corrupted wall also used for ensure data consistency in HBase when read operation is performed in HBase data is first uh, retrieved from the mem store write buffer memory and from H file is the disk data store while log is uh, used for ensure the data mem log consistent of the data H file overall overall wall net log is critical component at HBase that ensure data durability and consistency in the in face of node failure and other issues, it provides records all changes made in HBase table, which can be used to restore data in the event failure and ensure data is inconsistent. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my this video so I can create available videos.